Travel Rap Podcast, the place where the art of storytelling meets the world of travel. I am your host, Frank Nitt, and for today's destination, we're going to Copenhagen, Denmark. And I want to tell you a story about a city within a city, if that makes any sense. So in Copenhagen, we were there doing shows, and, and, and Copenhagen was our base. So we were there for an extended period of time, right? Like two weeks or so, on and off. We would fly out, do shows, come back, be there a few days go do more shows so um being that frank is a smoker a partaker of the partaking right there was this place in denmark that you could go right and i've been there a few times but uh initially it was a place and it's called christiania or christiania christiania i don't know how it's pronounced properly but it's basically a small city within Copenhagen, right? And it was uh, like an open air market where and it had clubs there. And I think people actually, they had apartments and things in there. And you could buy food and clothes and incense and the partakings, right? So uh, I went there one time. And in this particular trip, I was there. And I said, okay, I'm going to go back over there. But in the time between the first time I was there and this time I was there, the laws had changed. And Christiania, while it was still a section off, and I mean, you couldn't even drive cars in there. Like, it was boarded off, and, and, and the government allowed it to go on where you could buy everything. Right? So, <laughs> on this particular time, the government had changed. Who was running the country had changed. So, you couldn't do the same things that you did before. But the place still existed. It just was no more clubs there, really. Uh, there wasn't any, like, food and trinkets and art and all of the other things that came with that particular lifestyle. All that was gone. It was just uh, things. So, here's the funny part. When we get there, Again, it's a different atmosphere. It's a different type of people, a different type of... It's a totally different thing from the open-air market with, you know, smiling faces and music and clothes and food and, 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 and all of that other stuff. Uh, this was more of a dark, dark, uh, dark matter version <laughs> of, of Christiania, right? Like, so... But I was going there to get... To be a partaker in the partakings. But at any rate, so I get there, and like again, it, it looks totally different. Everything that was there before is not there now, right? And it's really just little piles of people around. It's really dark, and there's a bonfire inside of like one of like 10 gallon drums. It's a bonfire going in there, right? And it's people, and it's a dude that I'm going to talk to. And as I'm walking up to the dude, he throws a lighter into the bonfire. And the lighter goes in there, and it explodes. And it makes like a big flame. And you see all these people kind of scatter. <laughs> and I'm like, what's, what's going on? I found out later that that was, it, it would scare the drug addicts. I mean, the, the drug addicts, you know, heroin, crack, that type of thing, right? The hard, hard line drugs. It would scare them and make them scatter away from the guy, right? So he could talk to people, right? So I get my little partakings, uh, some Mary Jane Anna. Mary Jane Anna. The girl's name is Mary Jane Anna. In any way, uh, I get my Mary Jane Anna. And, and, and like, as soon, as soon as I... Because, you know, I'm not hanging out. I get there. I get where I'm going. And I'm, and I'm on my way out, and I'm, I got, you know, people with me. So as, when I tell you, we turn to leave, and they got like a path that you walk out so you can get back to the street. As we going down the path, 
out of the shadows. It's like, uh, I think Denmark is, they speak Danish. I think it's Danish. See, the Dutch are Danish. I think it's Danish. But they were like Danish Robocops just all coming out of the crevices of the of the thing and we're like walking in between them but none of them stopped us they let us keep going but all oh, they all came out and raided this joint like shut everything down you talk about little people scurrying away like the uh, 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 woodland animals and creatures running around it was crazy by the skin of my teeth do, 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 do. Got out of there, got back in the car, and got back home. And I don't think I've been to Christiania since. Matter of fact, they changed it back in that time. So, like the third time I went, it was kind of back to normal. I don't think they had the clubs there, though. But everything else, food and all that, was back to it. Um, yeah, by the skin of my teeth. Also, that was the first time I had seen like uh, the cars that cut off. Like when you pull up to the light and the engine dies down to conserve energy and gas and whatever. That was the first time I had seen that. I thought the girl's car was broken. I, <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, your car, you need some gas money or something? Like, what is going on? <laughs> but at any rate, at any rate, at any rate, uh, Travel Rap Podcast. It's your host, Frank Nate. You know what it is. <laughs> I really asked her if she needs some gas. But bad. <laughs> Travel Rap Podcast. The boy, Frank Nate. You know what it is. Holla at your people, man. Be careful if you go to Christiania. It should be cool now, but they got RoboCops that come out of the dark and they'll get you. Be careful, y'all. Peace. Yeah. Travel ride. Travel ride. Skin. Travel ride. Travel ride. Travel ride. Travel ride. Travel ride. Travel ride. It's the Travel Rap Podcast.